How's it going guys? Got a backyard quick tip. Cleaning chainsaw air filters. Um, the method we use here is the uh, manufacturer recommended method, which is a bucket with some warm soapy water. You just have to use dish soap, nothing special, just a few drops. You don't want to, you know, full squirt, just something. And let it soak for about half an hour, this one's been in here for about 15, 20 minutes or so. It's going to release all the crap, you know. Give it a shake, you don't want to, only buckets only filled to about here or so. Give it a shake so you can really stir it up. And it's not going to make it perfect. But it's definitely going to clean the filter and make it usable again. So after you've done this, you want to sit it on the shelf and let it dry for at least 24 hours. So you know, common sense says it's good to have a backup so you can swap one out straight away, keep working and get this one nice and clean. Um, if you leave it out in the sun, you know, a nice hot sunny day, a couple of hours really. But if it's going to be on the shelf in a shed, 24 hours is going to be the best bet. It is a manufacturer's recommended method by Steel N Husky, Husqvarna, I believe. So, this happens to be the Ford 4829. And it's good to go. So we'll sit that up on the shelf, shake out most of the water we can. If you have access to compressed air, you can blow it out gently. You don't want to put a full burst of air through, you'll end up blowing most of the flocking off. But um, yeah, so she's, again, it's not brand new, but it's definitely a lot cleaner than it was and it's not going to restrict the saw anymore. And you'll end up with some pretty grotty, some pretty grotty water, which is good, because that means it's not on here anymore. So, right, so that's it. Uh, that's number two in the, uh, the small series of backyard quick tips. It's, um, you know, everything, the first few videos I've got up are, you know, it's all going to be chainsaw stuff for a few months, but it's firewood cutting season for us here, so. That's the main thing we're doing when it's getting into spring and then summer there'll be a lot more, you know, some lawn care stuff and gardening stuff, all that sort of thing. But yeah, so I'll sit this on the shelf for 24 hours, let it dry out, and she'll be good to go. She'll go back into the toolbox. Thanks guys, enjoy the rest of your day.